Toyota's workshop is currently working on a new project. Furthermore, it's not just any old car. We're discussing a brand new groundbreaking hydrogen car. So you may be familiar with the Toyota Mirai, a hydrogen-powered car that also employs fuel cells to produce energy. However, Toyota has recently developed a whole new idea. The new hydrogen combustion engine is what it is known as. The automobile sector may see a revolution because to this technology. Toyota is following a different path than other automakers that have switched to all-electric vehicles. But being better is more important than simply being different. So let's get started. We'll discuss the new hydrogen combustion engine from Toyota, how it functions, and what it implies to the sector. We are all aware of the planet's current predicament, and according to GlobalCitizen.org, the transportation sector is to blame for a staggering 15% of global carbon emissions. It's also no secret that conventional internal combustion engines have contributed significantly to the pollution issue. While electric cars are undoubtedly becoming more and more popular, some could argue that they aren't the sole solution. Enter the hydrogen combustion engine, Toyota's newest branch in its diverse approach to carbon neutrality. The most prevalent element in the cosmos, hydrogen also boasts the highest non-nuclear energy source, specific energy density. It may be produced from a variety of sources, stored indefinitely, and delivered reasonably inexpensively. It is also exhaust-free and non-toxic. Every year, millions of tons of hydrogen are created and utilized safely as a power source for trains, electric automobiles, forklifts, buildings, and other mechanical devices. What is the situation with hydrogen engines then? They don't need to be recharged like electric automobiles, and they have wider ranges, and water is the sole byproduct that exits the exhaust pipe. Yes, there are no dangerous contaminants. You may not be curious as to how everything operates. Each and every hydrogen engine makes use of a fuel cell to turn hydrogen into power. It resembles magic while using science. And did you know that when Toyota introduced the Prius for the first time in 1997, it started reducing the number of vehicles powered by fossil fuels? They have been environmentally conscious for some time. They are not the only ones, though. Automakers from around the world are attempting to develop green vehicles utilizing hydrogen, solar, and electrical energy. Not only does it involve preserving the environment, but it also involves ensuring energy security, enhancing air quality, and reducing environmental damage. Additionally, once created, hydrogen can be distributed effectively and affordably. The majority of modern hydrogen refueling stations produce hydrogen on-site, using electrolysis and only excess energy from renewable sources. The greatest thing, though, these containerized stations simply need electricity and water to function. Green tariffs or at certain stations, on-site solar or wind generation are used to supply the energy. Toyota currently claims to have developed a new method of using hydrogen's power. The Corolla Cross HU idea, a brand new prototype vehicle with a hydrogen combustion engine, was recently displayed by their technical team. Toyota is developing a brand new vehicle with a hydrogen combustion engine that is distinct from the fuel cell technology that powers its Toyota Mirai, the company's most recent hydrogen-powered vehicle. The idea of using hydrogen to fuel an internal combustion engine is not new. German carmaker BMW was one of the forerunners in the industry, launching the 750HL in 2002 and the Hydrogen 7 in 2005. Toyota is of the opinion that there is presently no one-size-fits-all approach to lowering vehicle emissions or satisfying consumer transportation demands. Getting the correct vehicle to the right location at the right time is everything. Therefore, investments must be undertaken in all sectors to satisfy short, medium, and long-term demands globally. And that's where hydrogen enters the picture, playing a crucial role in Toyota's Beyond Zero initiative. And they want to use their A2 to accomplish it. Perhaps you're wondering, what is A2? It's just Toyota's fancy word for internal combustion engines that run on hydrogen, and it appears to be the direction of car technology. Then, how does this operate? A 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine powers the GR Corolla H2. But with a unique twist, hydrogen instead of gasoline, Toyota, who borrowed this technology from its FCV, the Mirai, employs strong armored fuel tanks to hold the extremely combustible hydrogen. The automobile can also go up to 300 miles on just 5 kilograms of hydrogen, and the only byproduct is 50 liters of water. Discuss ecologically friendly practices. Let's now discuss about power. Toyota and Yamaha Motor have also collaborated to develop a V8 engine that runs on hydrogen. 
Yes, a hydrogen-powered V8 engine that generates 455 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. The true showstopper, though, the top-mounted 8-into-1 exhaust manifold emits a distinctive high-frequency sound. Additionally, compared to electric vehicles, hydrogen-powered cars have a longer range and refill faster. The GR Yaris A2 only requires 90 seconds. Additionally, it lessens the demand for materials with limited supplies like nickel and lithium. Which is another reason why the Corolla H2 is absolutely worth paying attention to. It won't be long until we start seeing these vehicles on the roads, because real-world testing has already begun. When that happens, disregard everything you've learned about electric vehicles, since the Toyota hydrogen combustion engine has several benefits over them. The major one is that refueling is as quick as a drag race, and it has a longer range. This technology is now advantageous for drivers and ecologically benign. You see, the lithium and nickel that are necessary for the production of EV batteries are not needed by the Toyota hydrogen engine nearly as much. It also has a battery. However, it is much smaller than the battery in an electric vehicle. In northern Japan, the Corolla Cross A2 concept car is now being evaluated in the real world and tested in winter driving conditions. With such high aspirations for hydrogen, the Japanese government also intends to put 200,000 fuel cell vehicles on the road by 2025 and 800,000 by 2030, with more refueling stations planned around the country. Let's now discuss the sound. In addition to sounding amazing, the exhaust spark is identical to that of a tuned gasoline-powered car. And because Toyota's cutting-edge hydrogen engine doesn't consume fossil fuel, it produces almost no carbon dioxide. Yes, it does emit some harmful gases, but a lot less than a car that runs on only gasoline. You could question, but what about safety? That's also taken care of by Toyota. Stronger connecting rods, tougher valves and valve seats, and gas-powered fuel injectors have all been added so that you may ride with assurance, aware that safety is of the utmost importance. Let's now get down to business. What advantages does this new technology offer? Let's start with the primary problem with electric vehicles, charging. Although we have all heard the horror stories, hydrogen makes it unnecessary. Hydrogen fills up in 90 seconds, much like an ICE automobile, and while there aren't many outlets now selling it, they often work well with conventional gas stations. Additionally, the GR Yaris A2 is even more ecologically friendly because to its compact battery, which uses less raw materials like lithium or nickel. We appreciate you watching our video on the revolutionary new engine technology from Toyota. We hope it was enlightening and thought-provoking for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you found this video to be educational. Awaiting more informative videos, I'll see you later.